Hello everyone, it's so Duck Toon, welcome to another mod review. This time on how many items station loader on official. So, this is pretty much how many items, but then obviously unofficially ported to station loader station API sort of side of uh, cursed fabric compared to what it actually was. We'll go to real quick. Just randomly. Um, so, we'll go how. And it was originally for mod loader. Okay. So, obviously, it allows you to do many GEI, REI, NEI sort of things. Or, I guess, and, yeah, more so that and Vox will get it and such. So, uh, pretty much what it does, obviously, is it displays all of the available items you can access. Obviously, there's only two mods for Cursed Fabric at the moment that add additional blocks, which is uh, Iron Chests and Better Never. Um, but it does, obviously, display those. Uh, we can access, of course, recipes for things, such as for furnaces or crafting tables. We can find out what's made from it, as well as uses, by simple left and right clicking. I think we can also, yes, we can do the R and the U feature as well for, obviously, left and right click, R and U is the, uh, you know, R and left click is what it's made from, and U and right click has its uses, so we can do that. Uh, you can cycle through between pages with uh, the mouse wheel, like so, there's no, oh, and arrow keys also work, yep, so arrow keys or left and uh, house wheeling. So that works there. Um, obviously we can not see recipes for uh, iron chests because they don't have any, I don't think, or at least not visibly maybe. Um, there is obviously no, if we go to it here, you can see there is no mod integration yet, um, but does support recipes. So for iron chests at least doesn't show, but uh, for better nether it does if you've seen that video at all, where I do a separate one specifically for recipes. Uh, but iron chests, I can't see that, at least. So, yeah. Uh, there is weird behaviours, so keep that in mind. Keybinds can be rebound, which we can take a look at. Uh, I don't think it says under here, does it? There's toggling, which is the O key. So we can press that to toggle things on and off. We can switch between pages, we can mouse wheel between pages there. Uh, I think that's all the controls visible here. Uh, I don't think toggling fog is a thing for it, but that's something else entirely. Um, right, so next we have obviously the settings here, which we'll get into. Very much any I like. Um, so you've got the cheat mode and the recipe mode, so we can just constantly keep clicking on things to find recipes instead of needing to press R and U as our keybinds to obviously find things if we're in cheat mode but still want to access recipes. So there is that. Uh, you can also tell obviously when it is in cheat mode, the uh, red versus the uh, typical colour there. There's no utility mode, so there's no... Uh, magnets or such like that there, or whatever else you can bind, typically. Uh, you've got the search bar being centered, which obviously you can move it to the side if you wish. Just move it back. Uh, we can hide items that uh, we don't want to see. So there's select few that you can hide, of course. So certain things like the piston face, um, fluids, beds in its like single word sum, 2D texture sort of way, slabs, the locked chest, farmland if you want to view that or not, so nothing on that side. So there's that. Or, uh, so actually they're the ones that are already being hidden, um, other ones if you don't want to view them, like for say, uh, broken textures or certain other types of items you don't use or something like that, you can remove those. Uh, we'll just go back in here though, because I'm not doing that fast. Those, so we're not seeing the flowing ones here compared to the regular fluids, piston face, bed texture, etc. Um, so we've got item IDs if we want to view those, so you can see those next to that. If you want to search by item, oh sorry, just see them uh, for the sake of it, how things are formatted also, because obviously there's no commands in this. 
Um, so you can't like work out which one to cheat in or something. But obviously item IDs have their place. Uh, fast searching is obviously just it immediately uh, acting on what you've typed in. Like so. If we want to change that, we can. I think that's what that does. Something like that. I, let's see if it says automatically focus the search bar when pressing a key. Okay. Um, let's see. Why do my D's overlaid? So obviously it has all these descriptions here. So you can turn off to save a config. Okay. Uh, you can click to toggle an item being hidden. Shift click to toggle items with the same ID. And clicking and dragging to toggle all selected items. That doesn't have a description because that's just that. That's just for... Yep, so we already just covered all that. Uh, also enables utility buttons in cheat mode, so that's why. So that's all that stuff there. So that's our utility focus. That's why there is no utility mode. Um, we can flip to scroll directions. Oh, flip scrolling directions. So that's when you use your mouse wheel and that for page scrolling. Obviously we've got two pages. And uh, you can invert it if you want. We've got key binds, so we can get recipes, of course, by using R, so that's what it's made from. Get its uses, which is U, which obviously is the default. Um, again, left and right clicking are always going to be there, but uh, these ones can be changed. You can change what recipe you last viewed, I think that is. I don't know what back is, unfortunately, so I'm just going to go right shift. That's already been used. Uh, right control will do that, so we'll just go, say, wooden sword, and we'll go this, and we'll go this, and if we go control, that actually does take us back. That's interesting. I've never used that feature before. Good to know that's a thing. Um, there is no default you can change it back to, though, so you'd have to find out what back actually is, and then convert that back. Is that actually backspace? It's backspace, that's why. Um, so we can show all recipes, which is here, so we want to view all furnace or all crafting table recipes we can. As you can tell, there's no brewing or this and the other, because obviously it's beta 173, and that wasn't added yet. Um, otherwise, obviously once more mods come around, and there's certain ones that have certain benefits of recipes, that may be a thing, but for now, these are all that's available. Again, there's only iron chests and better never really adds any um, sort of new block or certain stuff. Uh, we can see here that we've got the focus search. I don't know what that means, unfortunately. So return. I assume that just means that it's just going to try and work things out from there, or it's like a, hey, you're finalizing your search results sort of thing, at a guess. Um, doesn't say anything on it. Does not. Toggling we know about, and clearing is pretty self-explanatory, but clears the space. So just go, or oh, we don't want that anymore, we can then press delete, and we're good to go. Or you can do the, obviously, right-clicking in the search bar, and it'll be good. Um, we do that, and then off it, and then go delete, and that'll do that for us. So that's key bindings done. Um, we've got recipe viewer settings, so you can view or not crafting table recipes, so we don't want to view that, we don't view how to make a pickaxe, but uh, let's see, we can view in the how to get charcoal, but we can't view how we can get uh, any of these other resources. I'm sitting cheating stuff in currently, which is not what I want to do. Um, so there's that. So you can enable or disable those, or you can set the higher priority of which one is viewed, so obviously if we want crafting table recipes to be more high priority we can than furnaces, or whatever else is added eventually. We've got the GUI size, which is draggable or auto. I don't know about that. I assume that means you can shift it when it's in draggable, whilst auto just like puts it to a certain side of the screen or something. I have no idea what elements are draggable, if it's like the search bar or something like that, or the button. Or, no, sorry, hang on, recipes. Something like that, I think you can move it around, possibly. Um, oh, hang on, no, you can like, shift some elements, maybe? 
Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, that's what we want. So from the corner, you can do that, and then you can view, I assume, more. We do that. What happens? Can we view more? We can view more recipes this way. Cool. So there's that. So if we want to view more gold recipes on a page or on our screen, we can. Uh, obviously, you're going to want to turn it off so you can access the button there you keep cheating in things but yeah if you want to view all recipes or just one you can do that like so and that's more the usual slides there that's what that does that's what i meant um if we don't want something in particular say we've just randomly cheated in some things we can go to trash we can either hold shift and then uh, we can delete them all or if we want to just delete an individual one we can do that by just dragging it over so I just got too many arrows or a bunch of other stuff, we can just remove all that immediately. And obviously if we have too much in our inventory, can we can just delete it that way. Uh, we then also have the heal button, which I'm going to see if I can try and take damage from a hill so we can test that, because I don't have... Uh, cheating a cactus, actually. We'll just do that. It's quicker. So just take some damage. Just delete all those. And then we can press heal, and we're fully healed. We can toggle the rain to be, I assume, on and off, so it does rain. I don't know if thunderstorms are in beta versions, so we don't know about that. We do have the lighting change here. We are in a desert, so we're going to want to run over to a plains biome to see that. We can toggle that off, and that'll turn it off. Uh, we can set it to nighttime if we want, to immediately initiate that, and then to daytime if we want immediately want that to happen. I assume snow also does exist. No. I don't have creative installed, do I? I'm sure I did. Oh well. Um, I do not have it installed, do I? No, I do have it installed. I'm just not in creative mode, so that's why I can't. Oops. Um, but I assume snow also appears as well, as it's similar to rain in that way. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, yeah. So obviously the same should apply to the uh, mod loader version, it's just that this is a official port of it. I assume everything is pretty much intact. So uh, yeah, if you do use the mod loader version, that's fine, but uh, obviously we're covering the uh, Cursed Fabric version here at the moment. Thanks so much for watching though, and goodbye.